this canvas, this golf course, which back in 1901 was sculpted to be the golf course that it is today. In those early days, it was generally recognized as the best inland golf course in England. Huntercombe was designed in 1901 by Willie Park Jr. Uh, Park Jr. was most famous for, for his work on Sunningdale Old Course. At Huntercombe, it was his own, and he had a huge amount of fun out here. What Park Jr. did is shape the land to form these individual pots that, uh, that really are synonymous with Huntercombe as a golf course. The green shaping is, is, is unique for, for its time, with the huge movement and the steps in the greens. I think the fourth is one of the most extraordinary holes because it's not a very long hole and when you look at it on the card it's, it's, it just looks like a piece of cake. You've got a green with so many steps and so many layers to it. You've got a, a fall from the front going into the green and then also you've got the pot hugging that green which just is absolutely divine. People make pilgrimages from around the world to come and see this green. It really is a very important piece of Park Junior work. The eighth is, is such a tricky hole because the green is actually the hazard because you've got a step in the green which is facing right at you. If you're trying to putt up that slope from the wrong angle, it's almost impossible just to get it up onto the plateau, let alone close to the pin. So we'd look at 13, 14, 14 with those wonderful pots up the left-hand side, 15 well protected with deep Willy Park pots. The landform, the appearance of them, and the, the way they sit in this beautiful landscape is just stunning. But they create such a beautiful hazard because if you're in it, sometimes you might get a good lie, sometimes you might not. When you look at the greens, for example, the, the green on 13 at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, I mean, when you put angles into golf, it really does create interest. Huntercombe asked you to come in and take a look at the 16th hole. And when we started to look at 16, we were trying to move the target line a little bit further left and, and dogleg the drive a little bit more to create some interest. You know, I guess traditionally you would think about trees or bunkers or something like that, but no, the integrity of, of Huntercombe is pots. So we created a series of deep pots. You know, some of them are, are overhead height and, and very visible from the tee. So we really thought that putting pots in that location would create the perfect golfing strategy, but also blend in with the landscape. We have a piece of history here at Huntercombe. In any kind of evolution needs to be done with an expert, and that's why we employed Lob and Partners to have a look at the golf course, to give us a, an overview, to look at every hole individually, so that if any changes are made, they're being made with a professional eye.